Morning, everybody. Michelle is here on this Saturday, overcast, warm day. And I'm about to go outside shortly so I can get some yard work done. And basically, I think I am ready to do what I need to do to get to the next step. So, but I won't get my hopes up. Um, just in case it doesn't turn out. To, that I don't uh, have everything finished. I'm going to have, um, you know, I want to do some more things to the house. I'm just rambling right now. I'm just looking around, rambling, inspecting. But anyway, everything's going fantastic, magnificent, and marvelous. I'm happy. I'm a little sore. My back, and my legs. Doing. I was doing out, outdoor work, indoor work. And it feels good. It feels good to move around and be active. And so I suggest anybody do that. And if you're going through something, you know, you got so much that you're thinking about, do something physical, like mow the lawn. Some people exercise and that's fine. Walking, I prefer to walk, <clears throat> but I do plan to get back into the gym at some point, you know, just to make sure I stay, stay, uh, keep up my strength. Uh, but you know, if you're going through something, walking does help, you know, or doing some other type of activity so that you can stop ruminating and overthinking things. Just find something to do, you know, clean up your house. All right. Clean out your closets. A lot of people got stuff stored in their closets for decades upon decades and they have no idea what's in them. Clean out your garages, clean out your sheds, find those kind of activities to keep you moving. And I think you'll start feeling better because uh, it, it thoughts is what dictates how we're going to feel anyway, or how we're going to act and what we're going to do and what we're going to say and also what you're going to see. So um, just, again, be gentle, find something active to do. And I suggest to all, everybody, you know, whatever your age is, learn how to do a skill that involves uh, your hands, uh, you know, not so much computer skills is my point. Do something that's non-computer skills so that you can build up your confidence and build up, you know, your ability to handle yourself it's just in case. Because I'm waiting, I was, I've been waiting for a contractor for a couple of days and hasn't shown up. But I still can still get things going. Uh, it, it, you know, it's not going to stop I just wanted to do something a little bit more, but <clears throat> you know, if he doesn't show up, he doesn't show up. It's not going to complete. It's not going to interfere with my goal or interfere with my plans and blah, blah, blah. And so that's what you have to do as well. Always have a backup just in case something doesn't come through. All right, well, I'll just go to this and go to that and not let it take you off your, 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 your moving forward so that you don't get stagnated and stopped waiting around, waiting around, waiting around, you know, and, uh, and you don't get anything done at a reasonable time. And then something else will come up and then your attention will go there and you'll forget about that. You need to do this. So you just get all just distracted and all over the place. Have a backup plan. Know how to do something with your hands other than typing on computers. Learn how to fix things. Learn how to build things. Learn how to do this and do that. Do, you know, find, I mean, there has to be something if you don't own your, your home, there has to be something in your community that you can do where you're being active and particip you know, participating in something. Some people like to go and feed the homeless. I don't think the homeless need you to be feeding them, but that's a personal decision, uh, personal opinion. And I'll explain that later about all of us attempting to feed the homeless and what happens with all that discarded food, which most of it, over half of it is discarded, by the way usually discarded in the streets, you know, so, you know, or wherever. Uh, so do something, you know, just be creative. That's the point. Just be creative and you'll be surprised what you can, what your thoughts will release out for you to do or release out for you to uh, participate in. And become enthusiastic about it and motivated. You'd be surprised. And remember about when it comes to knowledge. You're not going to be able to take on more than you can handle. 
I don't care what anyone, you know, some of us like to think we are so above knowledge and that we don't need knowledge, which is, that was, that was, that was the error that wanted biz, biz, I think that will be one of the, um, will go down in our history as the biggest failures that we've, uh, you know, we became so infixed on our ego and our perception and personas that we left out, which, you know, are we're just ordinary human beings, except it. But there are some magnificent things going on in the universe, in the world, on the planet, that our attention, we should have had our attention on that. And elevating of our consciousness so that we can, so we can pick up the right perceptions of things, be able to handle uh, the influx of knowledge that's out there. As everybody says, it is somewhere out there. There's something somewhere out there. Okay. And we bring that into us to help us cultivate and contemplate and plan and, and uh, be particip participating in the development of our lives. You know, it's so amazing. It's so amazing. So enjoy this Saturday. Uh, I'm going to get out there real quick because... You know, like I said, it's overcast out there. Get some stuff done in the yard. And trust me, I'll be back.